Now here is another very interesting question. It says the ratio of the sum of n terms of two APs is 7n plus 1 is to 4n plus 27. You have to find the ratio of their mth terms. So what's given? Let's write. There are two APs. First of all, two APs are there. Two APs. Okay. Two APs are there. All right. And it's given. Let's say A1, D1 and a2 d2 are first term and common difference of both ap's okay so first assume this one a1 d1 and a2 d2 are first terms and common difference of both ap's okay right now it's given ratio of the sum of n terms, right? So let me write it as Sn1 for the first AP and Sn2 for second AP. And this is given as 7n plus 1 and 4n plus 27, right? First n terms of first AP is, you know, divided by first n terms of second AP, the sum of both these n terms is 7n plus 1 and 4n plus 27 okay now um, what is to be found out we have we have to find out ratio of their mth terms so we have to find out sm sorry not s am am1 am for the first one and am for the second one is what is the question okay so now that we have summarized the question let's try to find this out okay so uh, let's first keep an eye on what is to be found out a m1 meaning a plus m minus 1 d1 for the first ap second ap a2 plus m minus 1 d2 right this is the ratio of the mth term of both the ap's so this is what we have to achieve okay now let's see what's given sn1 is given what is sn1 so sum of first n terms n by 2 twice a1 plus n minus 1 d1 correct and the same thing for the second ap n by 2 twice a2 plus n minus 1 d2 correct and this is equal to 7n plus 1 divided by 4n plus 27 now whenever such Questions are there where you have to, you know, go from this format to this format. It's not a good idea to cross multiply and try and simplify because you see there are four variables a1, d1, a2, d2. So you will not be able to solve for all. That means you will not be able to find out a1, d1, a2, d2 because there is only one equation given. So hence you have to, you know, play with the format that is whatever is required. Let's see, we can convert one format to the other format or not. Okay, so clearly this n by 2, n by 2 goes. So what's left? I am. I can see I have 2a1, but there is no 2 in this case. See, no 2. So you have to somehow detach 2 from that a1. So what can I do? Can I not take 2 common and write like this? a1 plus n minus 1 by 2 d1. Okay. And similarly, in the denominator, I can again extract a 2 and write a2 plus n minus 1 by 2 d2, right? And this is equal to 7n plus 1 by 4n plus 27, isn't it? Now, if you see now our this step expression on the LHS is looking somewhat similar to whatever we want this 2 and 2 will go but there is a problem that there is n minus 1 by 2 somehow I want to get it converted to m right if that is equal to m then my problem is solved or m minus 1 rather so can I not you know deliberately put it what what do I mean can I say let n minus 1 by 2 be equal to m minus 1 let okay when will that be possible? So this will be possible when n by 2 minus 1 by 2 is equal to m minus 1 
that means um how do i find n in terms of m so um yeah so what is n then so n by n minus 1 will be equal to twice m minus 1 and hence n is equal to 1 plus 2m minus 2 that is 2m minus 1 so when n is 2m minus 1 right this is possible this thing is possible right so i'm saying when n is equal to 2m minus 1 then n minus 1 by 2 will be equal to m minus 1 simply so let us put n is equal to 2m minus 1 across the equation so at n is equal to 2m minus 1 let this equation be called 1 at n is equal to 2m minus 1 1 will become what simply put wherever you see n put 2m minus 1 so you will get a1 plus 2m minus 1 minus 1 by 2 d1 right so let me just yeah so that it is in one frame and this is second is a1 sorry a2 plus 2m minus 1 minus 1 by 2 d2 and this is equal to now again here in terms of in place of n right 2m minus 1 plus 1 and in the denominator right 4 into 2m minus 1 plus 1 right what did we do in this expression if this is true for any n i can substitute n for 1 2 3 5 whatever and it will hold because this was given this is given isn't it so if whatever value of n i put in the lhs if i put the same thing in the rhs it will hold so i simply put n is equal to 2m minus 1 and what do i get i get a1 plus if you you know simplify this you will get m minus 1 d1 divided by a2 plus m minus 1 d2 and here you will get 14m minus 7 plus 1 divided by 8m minus 4 plus 1 right minus 4 uh, isn't it so sorry what was the uh, sorry it is 27 it's not 4 into n plus 27 so you have to write 27 so there's a mistake here this is 27 okay so you have to write 27 here and simplify what is this 14 m minus 6 divided by 8 m minus or rather plus 23 right it is 14 m minus 6 divided by 8 m plus 23 and what is there in the lhs if you look closely what is this is in the numerator a m for the first a p and the denominator is a m for the second a p right and this is equal to 14 m minus 6 by 8 m plus 23 and this is exactly what you had to find out ratio of mth term of both the a p's right hence this is the hence it is found out right this is what you have to find out ratio of mth term of first ap and that of second ap correct so how did we solve this guys so i told you don't cross multiply the first equation which is the given constraint or a condition which you had don't cross multiply and try finding a1 d1 you will not be able to why because there are four variables a1 d1 a2 d2 so hence uh, that will not be helpful instead of that i tried to transform one expression into the other by some manipulation on both sides and here the manipulation was if n becomes 2m minus 1 then on the left hand side you could get am uh, that is mf term and accordingly change the ratio on the right hand side and you get the desired result